overheads and fees associated with owning property in Dubai. That's exactly what we're going to be discussing. And my name is Connor and I own a number of properties here in Dubai that are both off plan properties, ready properties, properties that I bought with payment plans, properties that I bought with cash. So I understand this market relatively well. I have bought and sold properties here and I have my properties on short term rentals as well as long term rentals. So in this video, we're going to go through all of the costs associated with owning these units. And we will also go through one of my units and see the exact breakdown of the cost there. And guys, just for we jump into it if you have any questions regarding buying property in Dubai, Dubai itself or any general questions there is a link to my email right below this video feel free to reach out with any of those questions. So first of all let's go through an introduction into the costs associated with owning. So number one we have service charges these are recurring fees that underpin the maintenance of Dubai's properties. We also have maintenance charges covering repairs and care for your property's elements, utility bills encompassing electricity and water consumption, internet, phone and TV services are the responsibilities shared between tenants and owners depending on whether or not your unit is on short term or long term. Most of my units are on short term, therefore I pay for the internet, phone and TV services and also all of the utility charges and the service charge. So that, that's one of the drawbacks of actually having your units on short term, even though you do normally generate a higher income per month. With that said, let's jump into these ownership costs and break them down a little bit more. So first of all, we have the service charges. These are contributions that facilitate the upkeeping of communal spaces, facilities, amenities, and they are based on your villa's plot size or your apartment's square footage. Expect these charges throughout your ownership, depending on which one you own. And don't be caught off guard when you do get an email asking you to pay these because they come and they come often. So be prepared. Next up, we have maintenance charges. Luckily enough, so far, all of my ready units that I've had have only ever had very minor maintenance charges. Nothing major has happened, but things that I've seen while living in Dubai are things like water heaters breaking, ceilings falling in, doors falling off, cupboards falling off, all of that sort of stuff, wear and tear of your furniture if you are in short-term rentals, if you are doing short-term rentals. So be prepared for that and add it into your budget, budgeting a percentage of your monthly gross income to pay for maintenance in case that does come one day. Now, next up, we have utility bills. This is Dubai's electricity and water consumption, which is called Diwa here in Dubai. And you pay for it all in the app and it's extremely convenient. But these charges can vary depending on where you are and the size of your unit. A studio apartment will be much less in Diwa than a three bedroom apartment. Now you'll see a word called chiller charges, which may seem a little bit weird if you are from England. At first, I had no idea what this meant, but it's obviously the air con. These are sometimes included in your Diwa fees or sometimes separate depending on which building you're in. And there are also gas charges if you have a gas cooker in the apartment or building. Now, next up, we have the internet, phone and TV char charges, which can vary depending on which services you ask for. Faster internet is gonna cost more, slower internet costs less. TV and phone are normally included with your internet service provider, which is in and around 250 dirhams per month. Now let's jump over to one of my units that I own in JVC, Dubai. I've had this unit for over a year and a half now, coming close to two years. And this was my revenue generated in the year of 2022. Bear in mind that the rental prices have increased quite dramatically since 2022. We can see the very last month I did rent this unit for 9,000 dirhams in December 2022. So the average rent was around 7,500, sometimes dropping to as low as 4,250. And this unit is on a monthly rental, not a long-term rental, which is a yearly rental here in Dubai, and also not on Airbnb, the daily rentals. This sits somewhere in the middle. And this is a normal rental that you would imagine in somewhere like England, except except for I pay all of the bills. So that's of course what we're talking about today. And this will be the same if you rent this unit out or if you were to live in it yourself. So first of all, we have a management fee. If you are currently looking for a manager here in Dubai for a unit in JVC, downtown Dubai, or anywhere really in Dubai, do let me know by hitting me up in my email address because I can forward you any brokers or agencies that I've worked with in the past to both buy property and to rent it out for you. The management fee in these units was around 1,000 to 1,000 350 per month for this unit, a total of 13,000 dirhams 
in the whole year. Next up, we have the Aircon, and this varied between 173 dirhams on a month where the, where the person didn't use it that much, all the way up to around 675 dirhams for the year. So account for about 675 dirhams a month there. Now, the DWA charge averaged at 420 dirhams per month. The internet was 550 per month because I opted for a much faster service here, which actually I would say isn't necessary because you're not always going to get those really fast internet speeds that are promised by whichever internet service provider. So I would probably go for a more average plan next time I set up one of these units. Now we also have our service charge, which is 750 dirhams per month, which means the total expenses per month are around 2000 dirhams averaging at 25,900 for the entire year. So this unit actually gross generated 86,675 dirhams after the management fee, 73,673 dirhams. And then after all of the fees, a net profit of 47,768. Now this ROI is 7.2% and this doesn't account for the property payment plan, which I have this unit bought under. So after the payment, plan is completed, the price I'll actually pay out of pocket for this unit because I will be deducting the yearly income I make will be approximately 429,000 dirhams, which means my ROI will be will be 11%. So if you want help finding a unit like this, don't hesitate to follow the link to my email in the description and drop me an email with any of your questions. And with that said, hopefully I did cover all of your questions regarding the costs associated with owning a unit in Dubai. If I left anything out, please let me know down there in the comment section. I am still learning as I go here, continuing to build my property portfolio. And I would love for you guys to join me on my journey. Smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.